Okay, picking up after feeding chickens and piggies. I'm kind of debating about putting a pond in right here. But I don't know. Hi, guys. This is the poor rose. The gophers dug it and ate it. So I stuck it in there and I'm watering it. I might be able to get it, but I don't know. There were a few little bits of, oh, you guys want to play? Oh, I thought that was a gopher after another gopher. So this, run, run, run. Oi, that goes to my tomatoes. Of course, they run right across them. <coughs> so without Nana and Vero and Araceli's helped a couple times, I would not be this far. There's no way. I hope you guys didn't break a tomato. So I put up this shun, sun, shun, sunshade to help a little, and they're starting to revive a little. And of course, peppers. These are all peppers, different types. I've got two more beds there, but I'm not gonna put any more plastic down. I'm tired of buying it. I think this makes six rolls, five rolls. So some of the squash didn't make it. And it's not a big deal because I've got more types. See, look at all these, how pretty. Oh, that blew over. Oh, there wasn't a squash in there anyways. And then I'll put the gray squash in here. And then who knows what else I'll put in there. And the corn, I think it's going to go across the back. And then that area is going to get dug up next. And the watermelons are going to go over there. It's getting there. I've got my pallets I've been using slowly to make mulch boxes. This is my little experimental. So I lined it with this weed barrier and then I screwed them together. And then I come out and water that here and there. It needs, once I get the lines over here. And this is a borrowed tractor that has done primarily the digging. There's no way I've done it by hand. There's a fig tree, two apricot trees, little citrus trees. All these citrus trees I only paid like five and ten dollars for. <clears throat> I've been cleaning up this area. You know, people stress about weeds. I don't stress about them. I get to them eventually. There's a big, nice fig tree. I'm just going to let it do its thing. I was going to trim it up more like a tree but I remember as a kid there was one that grew like this and man it was massive I won't let it get real big but Ooh, look how pretty I did let this mustard go to seed and then of course I still have all this area over here but that'll be years to come I have a couple trees out there but not many old wood for more raised beds, but that's it.